The majority of this program takes a look at the Ford Ferguson of 1939 and the good old Ferguson TE20 of 1947. Of course, the history of Massey Ferguson goes back even further than that, as this short excerpt from a film called Massey Ferguson History up to 1984 tells us. ...and merged their business in 1891 to form the Massey Harris Company. By the turn of the century, exports accounted for 60%. This next film dates from 1939 when the Ford 9N, using Ferguson's system, was launched. It was an attempt to persuade a sceptical farming community of the merits of this little tractor. The film starts in sepia, with footage of both Ford and Ferguson themselves, but watch for the change to glorious colour as we travel back to pre-Second World War America for this film entitled simply The Ford Ferguson. ...produce at a profit and at the same time have the leisure to enjoy the fruits of their labour. These same beliefs inspired Mr Harry Ferguson, seen here with a model tractor to spend years in developing and perfecting a new system for reducing the cost of doing farm work. Two men with a single purpose. And on June 29, 1939, at Dearborn, Michigan, the product of their collaboration was first made public. To a large... Ferguson's new tractor was built for him by the Standard Motor Company with the first one leaving the Banner Lane factory Standard in 1946. This last film in our first prices. program, called The Standard Built the Standard Ferguson Tractor, shows early examples of the TE20 at work with Ferguson policy. implements, as well as a fascinating journey through its production at the Coventry tractor. plant. Here at last is a complete farming machine suitable for worldwide conditions. Each of a wide range of implements, tailored exactly for efficient performance, becoming, when attached, an integral part of the tractor. Natural forces, harnessed by means of a three-point linkage and built-in hydraulic control system, allowed for the weight for traction to be automatically provided in proportion to the workload. Thanks to the skill and experience of the standard motor company, the tractor is produced in the great numbers required and at reasonable cost. 